gloom of high unemployment is never far from the headlines. The latest Eurostat data reveals that youth unemployment across Europe is rising, reaching 58% in troubled Greece. But a new emerging employment solution is coming to the fore, social enterprise. Social enterprise is a business model that seeks to maximise social impact over making money, but still retains sustainable profit margins. The UK government is investing in social enterprise. The so-called third sector fits nicely into David Cameron's bottom-up big society. And the EU is piling money into the sector in an attempt to help kick-start the grassroots of economic recovery. The British Council in Malta recognised the sector's emergence and staged a two-day workshop for 16 young social entrepreneurs from across Europe and North Africa. Experts helped the entrepreneurs tweak their business plans and provided advice. Um, but it's exactly this social goal that actually can motivate young people who want to combine a successful professional life, because this is what you want to do today, with your values. One young PhD student explained how her sustainable design company will deliver social impact. Or, or the, the new wave of sustainable design for the future. A lot of that knowledge and information is available to those people who have access to it. And I think making that accessible to people who are living in these communities would be a very beneficial. But social enterprise doesn't stop at Europe's borders. It has been suggested it could help tackle problems in North Africa, where in some countries more than 30% of the population are under 18 years old. First is that we need to create more awareness uh, among youth in general about social entrepreneurship. The idea of having uh, the possibility of setting up your own uh, organization that has both um, a social impact uh, as its main goal, but also having a business model that could employ people and create change and so on. Experts and the budding business starlets visited Malta's capital Valletta in the evening, socialising and sharing ideas. The next morning, a Libyan youth organiser explained how social enterprise will help his future business plans. This aspect is, is new for us, especially Libyan youth. So I'm going to go back to Libya and actually learn more. Politicians have put faith and funds into social enterprise. Maybe it can stop the unemployment plague and solve issues in Europe and North Africa. A very big society indeed. Adam Smith, reporting for the British Council, Malta.